Summer is just about here, so let's go ahead and kick this thing off. Uh, number one, we have crew socks with above the knee shorts. Now this combo is absolutely vital and it's gonna give your summer looks, your outfits, that overall oomph that it needs. Rocking shorts that are cut a little above the knee is the absolute way to go. If you're rocking shorts that are you know, a little past the knee, then this is slightly uh, a little bit outdated and it's uh, kind of equivalent to say rocking baggy jeans at this point. But hey, like I've always mentioned here on this channel, these videos are based off of either my style or trends that are currently taking place. As always, feel free to rock whatever style you prefer and what ultimately makes you feel confident. Now, if you don't own any pairs of these specific shorts that cut above the knee, uh, you honestly don't even need to go out and buy any. You can simply crop your old shorts or even your pants for that matter with a pair of scissors like I've personally done here. As far as crew socks go, mine are Dickies and I got mine from Walmart for like eight bucks. You can wear them with low top sneakers, which is the most preferred and popular way, or high tops, which is a dope look um, that I personally think looks nice and masculine. Number two is summarize your tees. Now, what better way to show off those guns you've been working on all winter long uh, than trimming up those sleeves? As you can see, the sleeves on this shirt aren't totally gone. They've just been trimmed up a bit, giving you a unique V-shaped look that's really nice for summer. This is a great option for those of you on a budget that wanna breathe new life into older clothing without spending a dime. All you're gonna wanna do is is cut at an angle on the sleeve as you see here leaving it a little bit more lengthy on the top versus the bottom near the armpit and now since we're on the topic of breathing new life into older clothing feel free to crop your old tees for that box fit look Going for that box fit look is definitely going to give you a distinctive and, and unique look that's gonna separate you from the rest. All you gotta do is simply take some scissors, crop the bottom to your preferred length, and you're good to go. Now one thing you gotta really watch out for when cropping your tees is that uh, raw edge might slightly roll up about an inch or two. So maybe just cut an inch up first, see how that goes, throw it in the wash, let it naturally, uh, let the edges kind of naturally roll up themselves, and then kind of take it from there, see if you need to go up any higher or not. Also, feel free to raid your dad's closet. I did this myself a little while back. Uh, see if there's anything he's forgotten about or just doesn't want anymore. You can definitely find some hidden gems in there and crop those as well, especially if your dad is bigger than you, like in my case. Actually, the shirt that I showed you uh, just a few moments ago was actually my dad's, and it was way too big for me until I trimmed the sleeves and crop the bottom. So that just goes to show you what you can do when you get creative. A subtle but drastic improvement to my outfits has been biker rings. Now, these rings aren't limited to just bikers. That's just where the style kind of stemmed from. These pieces will definitely give your outfits a nice pop without having to, you know, layer up and, you know, wear all these extra pieces of clothing. Because, I mean, let's be honest, the last thing you want to do is go ahead and layer up with all these pieces of clothing right in the dead of summer just, you know, just to look good. By the way, Gothic was actually kind enough to send me out these rings that you see here and offer you guys 20% off by using my promo code DRE20. So don't miss out on that. I'll be sure to put all that info down below. Now, what I really like about this brand Gothic is that, you know, whether you're a faith-based guy like me or you're, say, a Game of Thrones fan, a Pirates fan, whatever, uh, Gothic makes it really easy uh, for you to really express yourself through their pieces. And lastly, for those cool nights, a lightweight jacket will do. I live out in the, you know, the desert, so sometimes we get some gnarly winds coming through right in the middle of summer. So a windbreaker is my personal preference as far as a lightweight jacket goes. I usually go vintage with these and you can actually find some really cool retro pieces that are very unique that nobody else has on uh, thrift sites such as Grailed or Poshmark. So that is it. That is all I have for you today. If you dug today's video, please be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and be sure to hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. And I'll see you very soon. My name is Jay Jaxler, Shaka bra. What's up guys, Dre here. Now before I go ahead and end today's video, I do want to go ahead and share a little bit of what's on my heart and what's currently going on right now in America. And if I sound a little ignorant, or if I sound like I don't have all my facts down, I apologize. But just because I don't have all my facts down and I don't know all the little intricacies doesn't mean that I still can't be effective. Um, you know, so many times in my own life, uh, I've used the excuse you know, I don't know what to say, you know, because I'm not black and, you know, I, I just, you know, I don't know what it's like. And it's like, if I consider myself a good, godly dude, yet I see videos like George Floyd's on my Instagram feed and I'm just scrolling right past it. Or if I post a little prayer emoji or a little black photo uh, just to kind of do my part, I'm honestly part of the problem. And I'm honestly 
I'm just doing these things to make myself feel good, make myself feel like I'm a good, godly dude. When in actuality, I'm neglecting every little thing that, every little characteristic that a good, godly dude actually is. So I encourage you, I encourage all of us, do not be ignorant to this. The Bible says you are the light of the world. And, uh, you know, this is a good time for us to not sit quiet. You know, I'm sure if, if this was our own brother or if this was our own son, or even our own dog or pet for that matter underneath the knee of some officer i'm sure we would you know speak up then right now i do have a link down below for you to go ahead and donate to so i encourage you to do that along with some petitions that you can literally sign under 30 seconds just to help demand justice so with that all said i encourage you do not be ignorant to this do not be silent use your voice you are the light of the world i'll talk to you soon peace